In this episode of Safety Matters, learn about the important information you need to give when you call 911. Plus, find out what happens after you call 911 for an emergency. So stick around and find out why safety matters. I'm Sergeant Stephen Byram. There's some important information you should give dispatch when you call 911 in an emergency. Here's Shireen Amamian to explain more. My name is Shireen Amamian and I'm an emergency communications officer here for the city of Frisco. Frisco Police Department, this is the Sioux, I can help you. And whenever you call 911, the first thing we want you to do is give us your location and we're going to verify that twice, make sure we're sending help where it needs to go. And then we're going to ask exactly what's going on. Um, from there, we kind of know what kind of call we need to drop, whether it needs to be a medical, police call, and kind of what category. Moving on from there, we'll delve into details, like um, if we need descriptions of a vehicle, descriptions of a person, and just kind of progress through the call that way, and then kind of go through officer safety questions. Yeah, so his truck was broken into, and he thought it was stolen at that time. If any weapons are involved, because that is going to be an officer safety question, just so they know what they're walking into. We're going to ask about any drugs or alcohol usage as well, whether it was yourself or someone else involved in the situation, just so that everyone knows the kind of mindset that everyone's in walking into the situation. If something's on fire, hazardous, carbon, anything like that, we usually tell them to evacuate the situation, just so we can figure out what's going on. Um, um, even if they're saying like, well, the smoke detector is going off, but I don't see any smoke or flames. We just like to get them out of the situation just in case there's something that they can't see. You can always text us. So our city is compatible with 911 text. So shoot us a text message, say help, get us your location. Um, that's always gonna be the best thing is just tell us where you are. So we at least know where to start help. I'm Fire Marshal Kelly Kiss with the Frisco Fire Department. Every day, Frisco firefighters and paramedics respond to 911 emergencies across the city. Today I have with me Captain White out of our Operations Division. Captain White, tell me what happens when we have a medical emergency in the city that we're notified of. Sure. A medical emergency is going to get you an engine and an ambulance. We're going to come dressed just like this. We're generally going to wear uh, protective gloves and eye protection, sometimes a mask if, uh, if they're super sick. If it's uh, very critical, we're probably going to add our squad because they have additional medical training and they also carry blood products. What about if it's a motor vehicle collision, say with injuries or entrapment? Sure. So uh, an MVA X, as we call that for extrication, you're going to get the rescue and you're going to get the squad, the ambulance and that engine. So on a regular car accident, you just get the engine and the ambulance, but the uh, extrication adds the truck and the rescue, which super specialized training for that extrication. We're going to wear some protective equipment. It's going to look like our bunker gear. So um, the lightweight gear, as we call it, just doesn't have the thermal protection, but it still has the protection for uh, uh, saws and things like that if we're using on the car. What about the unfortunate event that we have a working structure fire and we know that we've got an actual house fire or business that's on fire? Sure. You're going to get three engines, you're going to get a truck, you're going to get a rescue, you're going to get a couple of chiefs, you're going to get an ambulance, you'll get the squad as well. 22 to 24 people on the very first initial call. We're going to wear our entire full structural gear, so boots, pants, jacket, hood, mask, SCBA, self-contained breathing apparatus, uh, gloves, and, uh, and when we go to work, everything goes on, all of our bodies completely covered up uh, for protection, and then we go on air, as we call it, where we hook up to our bottle. And and I can go inside and breathe safely. Thanks for watching Safety Matters. Next month is Fire Prevention Month. We're going to introduce you to some of the clowns of the Frisco Fire Department. Plus, learn about the Frisco Police Department's Crime Scene Investigation Unit. So join us and find out why safety matters.